In the beginning was God. God established himself on the throne. Above the water. Above the seventh heaven. Then he created the pen and said to him. Write what will happen until the hour of judgment. God commanded the earth and the heavens and what is between them to be formed in six days. Then God said to the angels, I am going to place a caliph on the earth. The angels said to their Lord, Will you place in the earth someone who will corrupt and shed blood? We praise you and sanctify you. The question of the angels was not an objection, but rather an expression of astonishment and a desire to understand. God said, I know what you do not know. And from Adam's offspring will be prophets, messengers and righteous people. God commanded the angels to collect clay for him in various colors. Black, white, red and yellow. It was the wisdom of God Almighty to bring out the children of Adam different. And the pen began to write the first line on the first page of human history, the creation of our master Adam, peace be upon him. And when God breathed into him from his soul, he left the soul in Adam's head. So he opened his eyes and looked right and left. And when the soul reached his nose, he sneezed, so the angels alerted him to praise God. The prophet of God, Adam, said, Praise be to God, Lord of the worlds. God Almighty commanded his honorable angels to all prostrate to Adam. This is God's honor for the creature who bestowed upon him knowledge. The strange thing is that Iblis refused to prostrate. He said, I am better than Adam, for he was created from clay, and I was created from fire. After that, God expelled him from paradise, described him as accursed, and cursed him until the day of judgment. Ibelis asked God for a chance until the day of judgment, and he swore by the glory of God that he would tempt all of Adam and his offspring, except for a few of God's righteous servants. God taught Adam the names of everything, and left him to live alone in paradise. Adam walked in the land of paradise until he got tired. So he lay on the land of paradise and slept. And when he woke up he found Eve next to him. He asked her where you came from. She said, God created me from yourself while you were sleeping. Adam said, And why did God create you? She said, So that you may dwell with me. God said to Adam, Dwell you and your husband in paradise, and eat of everything you want, except for this tree. One the accursed Iblis came to Adam, and said to him, I will guide you to immortality. He began whispering to Adam, and took him to the forbidden tree, and said to him, You must eat from it, and obtain immortality and the great king. And when Adam and Eve ate the fruits of paradise, their nakedness appeared 
and they began to cover their nakedness with paradise paper. Satan said, I have won over you. Adam, you have won, and I have made you disobey your Lord while you are in paradise. And Adam and Eve fell to earth. After they came out of paradise, Adam was sad, and Eve did not stop crying, and his repentance was sincere, so God accepted their repentance, and God told them that the earth is their original place, they live in it and die on it and get out of it. Eve said, What is this good land? The shape of the mountain in it brings comfort and peace. And Adam called Eve, Where are you, Eve? Eve said, It is Adam's voice. I am here. Adam said, Thank God I saw you again. Eve said, I could not imagine my life without you, Adam. Adam said, I came down in a strange land, and I kept walking for a long time until I met you. Then Eve said, I will continue to love this mountain and long to see it always because it brought me together with you. Adam said, At this mountain we met after parting, so I call it Mount Arafat. Hawa said, Mount Arafat bears witness to the sincerity of our repentance and our tears that ask for forgiveness from God. Adam said, May God have mercy on us and ourselves, O oh Eve. I received words from God, and I knew from them that he repented and pardoned us. Adam said, We were not in it as a temporary matter, and the earth is our natural place. I asked Eve how is this? Adam replied, God said to the angels before he created me, I will create a caliph on earth, and he did not say that I will place a caliph in heaven. Adam and Eve intermarried. And the offspring of the children of Adam began in the first birth. Eve gave birth to twins, a male and a female, and they named them Cain and Aikila. In the second birth, she gave birth to twins, a male and a female, and they named them Abel and Buddha. Eve said, I want to complain to you about your two sons. Adam said, Good, God willing. Eve replied, Both of them do not hear the words. Cain does not go to pasture, and is satisfied with farming. Abel spends all the time grazing, and does not cultivate anything. Adam said, Is that all there is to it? Eve replied, Yes, I see you not disturbed. Adam said, Listen to me, my beloved wife. Adam said, God Almighty created people with different natures, to complement the work of some of the work of others. Eve said I do not understand. Adam said, 
We have to encourage those who love agriculture to learn and master it. And leave those who love grazing to do what pleases them and is consistent with their nature. Eve said. Well done, O prophet of God. Adam said. Do not fear anything for our children. I taught them and warned them against the accursed Satan. Eve said to her children, You have grown up and are at the age of responsibility. Your father commanded that you marry. Your father Adam says that it is permissible for the son of the first belly to marry the daughter of the second belly. Vice versa. Cain said, Wait, what is this haste? I have not told you my opinion yet. Eve said, Do you have an opinion that contradicts the opinion of your father, the prophet of God? Let me say, Mom, I'm thinking about it. Here, Iblis appeared to Cain and began to whisper an incitement, and said to him, Your brother Abel will marry your beautiful sister in a province. So why don't you marry her? For she is your sister from the same twin. And he is marrying his sister to Buddha, from the same twin. Cain went to his brother Abel in the pasture and said to him, I have decided to marry my sister Iculine, who was my twin in my mother's womb. Cain said, I will not give up on marrying a province. Abel said, Do not forget that our father is the prophet of God and his command is obeyed. Cain said, you are challenging me, Abel, and I have accepted the challenge. Eve said to Adam, It seems that some of the children are not satisfied with marriage. Cain wants to marry a province, and Abel insists on your choice of him. Adam said, this is not my choice, but the will of God Almighty. Eve replied, I think Abel will be satisfied with anything, but Cain's heart is tied to his sister. Adam said, It is not permissible for twins to marry. Tomorrow, Eve, the earth will be filled with offspring and then the marriage of brothers will be completely prohibited. Eve said, I do not like the animosity between the hearts of Cain and Abel to grow. Adam said, You are right. The solution, in my opinion, is to return the whole matter to God in the hope that he will guide us to that which is good for all of us. Cain chose from the worst of his crops, and Abel chose a large ram from his cattle. A luminous star descended from the sky. This luminous body carries the heavy ram, and leaves ears of wheat in its place. It is a sign of acceptance of the sacrifice. Cain said to Abel, I will not let you rejoice and feel your victory over me. Abel said, God has judged between us, my brother. Cain said, I will kill you, and Abel said, 
If you extend your hand to kill me, I will not extend my hand to kill you. Do what you want. If you kill me, you will bear my sins and your sins, and be among the companions of the fire, and this is the recompense of the wrongdoers. Adam and Eve spoke to their son Cain to require the judgment of God, and he heard their words, and said, I will not fight my brother, and I will never quarrel with him. But Satan intervened, and began his work, which is whispering an incitement to actions that do not please God until he persuaded Cain to kill his brother Abel. Cain said, I will kill Abel and the earth and what is on it will be mine alone. So Cain went to the pasture, and found his brother Abel sleeping on his back, so he hit him with a stone on the head and killed him. Then Satan said, I am victorious for the second time. He threw you into hell. My friend, Cain grieved over the killing of his brother Abel, and regretted what he had done, and said, I wish I had not killed you, my brother. Cain carried his brother Abel on his shoulder and began to walk, not knowing what to do with his brother's body, and not knowing where to hide it. God sent two crows to fight, so one of them killed the other, dug a hole in the ground with his beak, and buried his brother. Cain said, Was I unable to do something like this crow? So he dug a hole for his brother and buried him in it, and this is how man learned burial from the crow. After a period of time, our father Adam was on his deathbed, so he told his wife even his children, There is only one ship for the salvation of man and one weapon for his victory. Ark and weapon are the words of God. God will not leave man alone on earth. He will send his prophets to guide you and save you. The prophets will differ in names, attributes and miracles, but they will agree on one thing which is the call to worship God alone. Our father Adam began to smile as if he saw something that we do not see. Adam said to Eve, Do you smell the flowers of paradise with me? Here Adam, the father of mankind, died. <laughs>